Well, good morning. It is August the 1st. And we're looking at our high tunnel now. And this video today is going to be about before and after. Here's the after. 26 uh, bows. We've got plastic on. 30% shade cloth on. Deer prevention on. Still got to do the other side which we'll try to get to this week. And uh, let's get the irrigation on. I like to do this. Got it set for 10 minutes. I like to do this when I'm around rather than rely on uh, automation, which it'll turn on and off. But what I care about is whether these headers all stay put because this drip tape will come loose and when it does you've got a whole big mess on your hands okay uh, looks like everything's okay so this tunnel now is going to be uh, well I should say the episode is going to be about uh, after which is what we got here and before and a lot of work in between all right, here we are, another episode of A Season of Tomatoes, and we're just now on our second show. And uh, let me tell you what we've been doing out here, getting ready for the Farmer's Friend High Tunnel. This is a machine that we rented from Great Plains Kubota in Edmond, Oklahoma, and this is called a Groundhog. And this is just what we needed. We've got this little skinny uh, post hole digger which means we don't have to have huge holes, which means less concrete and a tighter post hole. Our ground is not completely level. You can see that this is, uh, oh, about six inches below the corner post. So we're gonna have to drive it in the ground six inches more, which will be a little bit of a chore. That one is just stuck in there barely. So they recommend that you put these long extension poles in for uh, for when you're going to be putting in these uh, high tunnels with high wind situations. So we'll uh, have a lot of work to do out here, but uh, just worked over the weekend. My son-in-law and me and uh, dug a bunch of post holes. It's pretty easy work with that digger. Perfect. All right, here we are at the high tunnel. This is a big trailer full of compost. This is some good stuff. Very well mixed. And objective is to get it on this garden and till it in. Uh, maybe one more till before we plant and put uh, landscape cover on everything but here are the uh, posts we've been pounding in looks like the strings become a little loose got a few more on this side to pound in and all of that on the other side to pound in so uh, this grass this ground was basically just like this uh, over there is Bermuda from the dog runs in the yard. This is native blue stem, just native grass here. And uh, not real thick, and I think it will, uh, once we put the grandscape, uh, landscape fabric on this, it will pretty much uh, kill out the vegetation in here. And uh, all of this will be in landscape fabric. Over here is where we're using the tractor to put this on. Just on the beds, planning on having four two-foot beds here, unless I change my mind, which I certainly may. Uh, I'm going to try to get this, try to put it where I want the beds to be, rather than just over the whole thing. Then I hope to till this in, and then before we plant, come in and till again, or rototill it, 
or just broad fork it or whatever. But uh, yeah, got a lot of work to do. Uh, we decided to put post holes on the whole thing because we had that digger. They go down about a foot and a half. And then we'll pound the rest of it in. Uh, and our plans are now to at least put concrete in every other hole, but probably every hole. We had 80 mile an hour winds here the other day, and I can't imagine this thing holding up to 80 mile an hour winds without a lot of concrete in the ground. But uh, it is not level here anywhere. We're on top of a hill. Uh, you can probably see the, the lay of the land here. So. We're here from the top to the bottom, probably has about six inches of drop or more, but uh, we'll pound these ones in the middle on the hill here in farther. Those have already been pounded in at the end. Down there we have two feet. These we dropped about six inches right here, maybe less, and it's two feet down there. So. We've got some work to do, try to put this thing up. I hope to have the whole thing up and going. Uh, maybe not with the end walls done by next week. This is the, uh, I think the 19th of March right now. So, season of tomatoes continues. Stay with us. We'll see you next time.